Hello there, you sweet, sweet Tobians, and welcome back. It has been a while. I apologize. Took a little hiatus there for my brain and body and health and family and all that normal adult stuff that I fucking hate dealing with. But really appreciate y'all sticking with me through that little hiatus and all the love you guys were showing me, even in my absence. So thank you so much, you guys. Today we're back. We're playing Scarlet Tower. I'm gonna ease back into it with a game that I know real, real well. Uh, it's Vampire Survivors, but with graphics that are just, mm, mwah, chef's kiss. So, make sure you like today's video, subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. With that out of the way, Beans, who are we going to be playing as today? Where is he? Yeah. The Katana of Oil. And, uh, so we are going to be playing on one of the new maps that they released. I don't know what we're doing. Map, there we go. Plague Lance, what we got? Leviathan's Lair. I'm not really sure how to unlock it, but we are going to be playing on Corruption Level 2 with this Katana Boyo. Mmm, look at those graphics. It has been too long, Beans. I'll tell you what. And just getting right back into the swing of things, killing all these enemies, making our way through the hood, sipping this yak. Fire Staff, Knife, Corruption Robe. We'll take corruption robe. Why? Why the hell not? Ooh, and there we are, moving fast as fuck. 10% more damage right off the rip. That is an excellent one to have. Celestial sword. What is it? Celestial sword, and I can't. Necrotic orb, or celestial orb. I can't remember the evolutions for this game. Shit. Is there a compendium? Oh! Well, there you go. Fusion with Ivy Staff, and Fusion with Corruption Crown, Flame Crown, and Knife. Alright, well, we'll grab one of those. That is so cool that they have that now. Thank God. They did not have that before, or if they did, I was unaware of it, so... Hmm... <laughs> We're going to take 10% more damage. Is this the, the aura around us, right? Yeah, sure, why not? Killing these tentacles. I've seen enough hentai to know how this ends. Alright, damage by three. We're going to make our way through the hood. Sipping this, yeah. Understaff. Uh, tick rate by 100%. So that basically does the damage each iota of damage twice as fast. Cunning ring. We'll take dual katana. That's like our character's built-in attack. Am I recording? I sure am. <laughs> I'm a little out of the swing of things. You gotta cut me a little slack here. I don't really know what's going on. And yeah, again, I, I apologize. I've been incredibly absent, so work. Knife. This evolves with knife, right? Yes, it said that. Okay, I don't know what it's gonna do. Corruption robe and knife. Perfect. What was I saying? Oh, yeah, so uh, about a month and a half ago, we had like several employees quit in the quick succession. Uh, shortly after the, uh, the end of that state of decay, Series. Not the end. I didn't even upload the end. I got pissed. <laughs> we lost. I, I lost. Uh, I lost. Really. I just. I played sloppy. Everybody died. It was a bad time. But so we had several employees quit in quick succession, and so I spent pretty much an entire month. Luck, perhaps. Yeah, luck's not bad. I spent an entire month doing the job of like three people, and it was a fucking nightmare. I was working like 70, 80 hours a week, so appreciate y'all bearing with me. Things are allegedly calming down here a little bit. We'll see how long these new guys last. I'm really hoping they do. Also, if you're in the area for a job, please, God, please, we need you. I've been so wildly insubordinate throughout this whole process, too. 
just talking mad shit to anybody who will listen, except customers. Slime staff, frost staff, thunder staff. I do love the slime staff. We're, we are gonna take that. This uses the corruption orb. I think both of those. So we need the ivy staff or the corruption orb for fusion here. But yeah, I, the other day, I, my boss was basically asking me to stay super late and deal with some some bullshit, and I straight up told him that uh, you guys need me far more than I need you right now. And he got pissed, and I was like, yeah, that was that was probably not good to say. So I would recommend against that, but it doesn't change it from being bad. I've been, uh, I've been big salty at work here lately, being just a real grumpy goose. But I know I uh, updated you on the uh, the executive producer situation a while back. I got a new kitty. His name's Nazgul. There's a photo somewhere in the community. He is... Perfect, but like also terrible because he's a cat. Where is he actually? Normally he's chilling in the window frame. He's not. I'm gonna pause this. Is there a cat under here? Oh, he's sleeping. He's sleeping back by my bookshelf in my uh, my office. Where I'm at. I call it an office, like I'm a seasoned professional. It's a fucking second bedroom that I that I game in. Let's call it what it is. But he's so handsome and perfect. All right, I gotta stop paying attention to the cat. I gotta pay attention to the hentai tentacles and how quickly we are killing them. God, look at the graphics on this game, you guys. Now, there is like a, a prequel game to this that I did pick up in, I think, a fanatical bundle called like Mists of Noia or something. It's like a Metroidvania-ish. It, it, it reminds me like a like Terraria Light, basically. I guess there's like a lot of crossover with the characters and everything. I don't really know, but I will uh, probably install that and check it out here at some point. Yeah, 10% more damage, why not? Ooh, we got some uh, red upgrade currency. I don't really remember what that does, but it's never a bad idea to have better currency. Get out of here. Oh, we killing the shit out of all of you. Let's go, beans. And uh, I think they dropped the 0 0.91 update, something like that. We are going to reroll that. Corruption orb simply because we do. Yeah. But anyways, seems like they're getting close to a, a 1.0 release with this game. And honestly, they've done far more than I would expect from a small developer and what they were charging for this game, so really, really happy with my purchase with this one. Dual Katana! That does not combine with anything because that is our character's innate ability. I do not believe any of the innate abilities have, like, an evolution. But, that's okay. We're doing just fine and damn do. Ooh, 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 skirt! Alright. Juking them out. We're in a circle of... Penis fly traps. Uh, we're gonna upgrade luck, try and grab a chest here because we do have an evolution available whenever we get a chest to drop for us. So the corruption robe and the knife will combine to do something. I'm not really sure what. I don't think I've seen it before, but butt sweeping will be a bloodbath. Celestial sword. Slime staff, slime staff, yeah, slime staff and corruption are perfect. Ooh, we are skirting through, grabbing XP, killing tentacles. Nothing really too terribly crazy. Yet the nice thing about this character is like one of his passive bonuses that you can select is that he, when he kills stuff, he like starts zipping around the map way past. Ah, I should have grabbed the crit ring. Oh well. Oh yeah, now we got the like weird eyeball monsters. There's a chest. Where is it? I heard it. He's right there. I will take some damage to grab that. Ooh, wait, darkness knife. Oh, holy shit. Uh, we don't want growth shield. That's a dumb one. Seven armor, move speed, and luck. We will take those though for sure. 
Alright, there's our first evolution or fusion or whatever that fuck they're called in this game out of the way. Ivy Staff. Yes, that is what I needed. Alright, so now we can evolve that with the Celestial Sword as well as the Necrotic Orb and the Slime Staff or the Celestial Orb. One of the orbs. One of the orbs of varying divinity. All right, the move speed was probably a nice find as well. Uh, we're going to go with... I don't need greed. I mean, if it gives it to us or that's the only option we have, great. But not to worry about it. Oh, damn, we got, like... You can see... I, I did unlock, like, the mini-map here. You can see it in the uh, corner. Oh, there's a high button. I want that, though. Uh, we have a couple of shops floating around near us. So you spend the kills you get... The, like skulls up there is like an in-run currency, which is, I think, a really neat system. And you can buy stuff from the, I believe he's called the Peddler. Knives can pierce through three more enemies. Yeah, that, that's good. Are those our knives? Holy shit, they're flying all over the place. I don't know what those are. They're putting in work. Oh, don't want to hit the peddler yet, if we can avoid it. Hmm, increase damage by 30, yeah. We are going to take that. Now I know I want to evolve these other ones, but we don't even have any other chests laying around, so it's not, you know, incredibly urgent to me at this point. We're doing all right in terms of damage and survivability. Our mobility is through the roof. That's kind of this character's specialty, though. Yeah, we're going to take Dual Katana. We'll max that out whenever we get the chance, just because it's never going to go away. It's a fairly rapid-firing ability, so shit. Shit. I'll take it. Oops, skirting around the... Those look like, those look like giant germs, like some shit Osmosis Jones was fighting. Damage by 50. All right. Ooh, I do want to grab the, uh, the crit chance and or cooldown reduction. We do not have enough levels to evolve anything, correct? No, this is not a good time to look. Dodge. I feel like they buffed the dodge, like, the movement of the characters in one of the patches since I last played, because it feels like it actually does something. Adds 12 projectiles, pierces through 10 more enemies? Okay. Don't have to tell me twice. You might, because I will forget about that pretty much immediately. Oh, that's another chest. All right. We gotta grab uh, one more level. Ah, eh, we might just end up. Holy shit, was that another chest? 3% cooldown reduction. There we go, that's what I like to see. So we're gonna be firing even faster. And. How are we doing against this boss so far? We're gonna grab this chest actually just because. Can. No, I don't want this. Get the extra HP out of here. That's not what I want. And we're going to grab this as well. Just, again, because we can dual katana. Stop it. So I talked to the cat. He just looked at me. What's up, baby? Oh, he's being a good boy. Which is weird, because normally he's a fucking monster. Like, I love him, but he's terrible. All right. Corruption orb. So, that evolves with the slime staff. So, next chest we get, we will get another evolution or fusion. Alright. Oh, look, there's one right up here. It's a necrotic orb. Shoots a necrotic orbs every 30 seconds, dealing 200 damage. Okay. And that frees up another slot for us. Which, we're going to save up some, some kills and go to one of these peddlers. We can grab something. Worthwhile. 
Celestial Sword and Ivy Staff. Yeah, sure. Sure, why not? Damage output. Still not doing too bad. Alright, got another chest. Oh yeah, we have a boss just like kind of chilling that I forgot about. Should probably... <laughs> should probably try and eliminate him at some point. Uh, yeah, we'll take Necrotic Orbs. That is already evolved. Come on, buddy. I know you're... I know you're looking to die. I can feel it. Smell it. Taste it. Meta currency everywhere. Oh man, my throat. I, uh, apparently I'm like physically still not used to this because my throat is like ah, sounding like the fucking crypt keeper. Uh, sure. Well, oh now we got two more chests laying around. Not bad. Not bad at all. I can't get my soda open. Trying to play with one hand. I guess normally I do play with one hand anyway, so not that big a deal. Ooh. God, the graphics in this game just so pretty. Holy Bible! Uh, I really do like the Hellfire Staff. What does that combine with? Holy Bible or Sacred Water? I can't remember which one is which. But Hellfire Staff is a really good, good find. Even if we just keep it as just the Hellfire Staff, I'm totally cool with that. Product Orb. Yeah. Yeah, we'll grab 150 more damage on that, because that seems like a very good investment of our time. Oh. Ah, it's nighttime, bees. That's when the spookies come out and start dropping the meta currency. We are going to go hit the peddler here, actually. I don't know if he sells any passes. I don't think I've ever tried. Give me the... Ooh, three seconds less cooldown. Very neat. Come on, give me critical chance flask. So these flasks do not take up inventory space and I think are some of the coolest things in this game. Another chest, another one. I feel like DJ Polly. DJ Polly. Alright, we're grabbing we're grabbing some of these chests. We got a bunch of them floating around. Take that. We'll grab this. Oh, that could kill me. Oh, I thought we were going to die there for a second. Holy shit. Alright, Ivy Staff up. Alright, we're going to be getting another boss coming here at some point. I believe it's like a like a murder hound. I can't really remember off the top of my head, though. Alright. Oh my god, we still haven't even killed the first boss? What the fuck are we doing here, Beans? I'm gonna say we, like... Anyone else had anything to do with it. <laughs> Alright, so we got Celestial Sword maxed out. After this, there's a boss, and he's almost dead. Ooh, alright, and there is the buff dodge coming to full effect for us. At least I think it was Bob. Don't quote me on that. Another upgrade on the Ivy Staff. Oh, skirt. Alright. Should have another peddler over here somewhere. Yeah, I see him on the minimap. I'm gonna go see if we can get another flask that does some something good for us. Take my money! Cooldown reduction by 8%. Uh, and that's all I have money for. Alright. That may have been the boss. We'll see. 
I did hear a chest pop. There we go. Give us some levels. We're gonna max out Necrotic Orb. We are gonna take Fancy Feet. Didn't hit that like talisman or whatever you want to call it there, but they let me. Alright, we need two more levels on the staff and then we can combine that with the celestial sword. Alright, that was another chest. We're just gonna grab this. One more level on the Ivy staff. So we will. Uh, you know what? There we go. Gathering range. Eh. Do I have everything I want? No. I don't want that. Well, that's unfortunate. Give me, give me some levels. We have one more chest that I want to grab after we get. Son of a bitch. Another level in the Ivy Staff. Well, we can at least go kick it by the uh, by the Ivy Staff. I'm like moving further and further away from the microphone for some reason. What time is it? I do have somewhere to be. Oh, it's actually way earlier than I thought. Is this what it's? Oh god, this uh, this guy might kill us. We started playing real sloppy there for a second. Again, I don't know why I'm saying we. That's not on anyone but me. Sweet, sweet, sensual, seductive. Kobe. We could just, you know, maybe get another level some point in the near future with the Ivy Staff. I'm stuck on a tree. It's still stuck on a. Oh god, it's still stuck on a tree. Oh my god, he's throwing up all kinds of vomit murder everywhere. Uh, fuck. All right. We have two rerolls left, but I want to make sure that we get something that we can evolve with the Hellfire Staff. Alright. The armor was not a bad find at all. We are we are squishy. We are big squishy. Granted, we haven't really leveled it up at all, but it's there. The option. If I ever get my shit together and find this. Thank you for the Ivy Staff. Let's get that evolution. Horizon Sword. Forza Horizon 5. Absolutely incredible game. Oh, another chest. Another chest. Chests all over the place. I'm gonna try. Oh man, we're actually putting in some work on the uh, the boss man here. Stop vomiting near me. Grab this. Fancy feet. Absolutely. Grab this. Horizon sword upgraded again. Alright. Now we're cooking. Now we are cooking beans. I'm feeling good about this. I mean, it's corruption too. It's nothing too crazy. Alright. We are going to take the level on Hellfire Staff. So we need either the... Uh, Alright. Holy Bible or the Sacred Water. Fuck. I can't do these both at the same time. Alright. Okay. I don't love this. Leave me alone. I feel like our damage might be falling off a bit based on how panicked I am running around the map at the moment. Right. Alright, let me... Uh... The levels are not coming very speedily at the moment. Alright, we gotta try and rotate that back that way. We got a bunch of chests and XP and whatnot showing back here. <sighs> Alright. Maybe we won't even evolve the Hellfire Staff at this point. No, we got to. We got to. I don't think I've ever had a run with all weapons upgraded. Uh, we won't have enough time for it, probably, though, now that I think about it. Well, we'll see what, we'll see what happens. 
Ah, there's one of the little bosses I was talking about. Did we kill the big guy at some point? Holy shit. No. And... No. We want all those? We, we do want all those. Reroll. Reroll. Alright, we are entirely out of rerolls. Which is not good. Not good at all, but... We need either Sacred Water or Holy Bible if it ever pops up again. We're doing good, though, Beans. He said, trying to convince himself. Skirt, skirt, skirt. Alright, 3% critical chance. That was what I wanted. Perfect. We've got some food chilling down here. Oh, we've got two peddlers, like, right next to each other. Which is awesome. That should be a boss dealt with. Alright, dip dive, duck dodge, and dingus. I don't know if we're going to be able to kill the boss. struggling here a little bit, I feel like. Holy Bible, there we go. That's what I like to see. Now. We can start trying to hammer out as many upgrades as quickly as possible. Let's go to the peddlers. No? Hello, sir. Take my money. Bro, come on. Thank Jesus. Greed. Honestly, neither of those is super helpful. I mean, gathering range might not have been a bad idea. All right, we are gonna level up Horizon Sword here. And then the other one was right over here. Come on, bro. Damage by 50% during this run. Okay. Perfect. Grab that. Holy Bible. Yep, all those are great. All right, that 50% damage boost may have been the, uh, the difference between life and death for us. Well, you know what? We're going to grab 3,000, and then we will grab the gathering range. Or 3,500, I think it was. All right, so we just hit 3,000 kills. We need 500 more, and then we can grab a flask from this boyo. Holy Bible, he went down too long in the midnight sea. Oh, don't you see who won him? Shit, that's the final boss. All right, we might not make it here, Beans. Our build did not come to fruition as I would have had it. Oh, God. All right. Well, we've come too far for me to delete the episode now. Ah! This boy is launching shit at us. At this point, I'm just running away and hoping that, uh, that we get the... Get the kill on the boss. No! Oh, I thought we were gonna die. Three percent more crit chance. Sure, don't mind if I do. Oh, he might mind. Based on his actions, he minds significantly. Ooh. We juked him out. We juked him out again. All right, so he does like a uh, stop and like does a projectile attack there. Oh, okay. Yeah, see, we're doing all right. We're doing all right. There he is. That is the boss dealt with. That's what I like to see. Beans. <sighs> Beans. Ooh, I unlocked a vampire staff. I don't know what that does. Beans, thank you so much, you guys, for, uh, for A, staying, sticking with me through this hiatus, and B, 
coming back, checking out the content that I, uh, I'm creating for y'all today. I love you guys so very, very much and uh, appreciate all your continued support. Make sure you like today's video, subscribe to the channel, let me know in the comments what you thought of today's episode. And with that, sweet beans, I'll see you guys in the next one. You stay sexy out there.